During that December 18th storm, the town of Farmington received some devastating flooding there. In fact, the water and the mud lines are still visible on buildings there six feet off the ground. Yeah, many homes and businesses were spared, but some near the Sandy River will remain closed for the time being. Folks at the Walgreens, <clears throat> excuse me, are trying to fill vital prescriptions again. The company brought in a mobile trailer and the manager told us today once they can get their systems up and running, they'll be able to fill the entire town's needs and then some. Despite the drastic flooding, the town manager said it could have been worse. The reason I say it could have been worse is because while while the businesses like McDonald's, Walgreens, Cumberland Farms right along the Intervale are, are heavily impacted and certainly for them it's a very bad serious event. For the town as a whole it could have been much worse. There's a lot of towns along the Androstoggin, the, the Carabasset, the Kennebec um, that experienced much more damage to their businesses and homes right along the rivers uh, that had total washouts of their roads. Um, that had loss of life. Uh, we didn't have any of that. We're very fortunate. Though all Farmington residents survived the storm, we're now learning just how dangerous some situations were. The fire chief told us today that his teams had to swim into a home and rescue at least one person who ignored an evacuation order and ended up calling 911 for help.